welcome to SNJ Gamers here. Today, I'm bringing you something a little special. Do you ever love pirate movies? Or just love the ocean, or sailing, or anything pirate? And you've definitely heard of Jack Sparrow. Legendary pirate Jack Sparrow. And if you play Sea of Thieves, you've probably wondered, hey, how can I make this relate to Pirates of the Caribbean? This feels like Pirates of the Caribbean. Or that's what you expect going in. Well, we've all wondered, how can I be Jack Sparrow? And today, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to be Jack Sparrow. I'm going to... This is my uh, opinion... I have a hard time seeing real quick. On how he looks. And today, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make your very own Jack Sparrow. Okay? And I might make the Black Pearl and show you how to make that. But... You might also know this for yourself, you know, you could do it however you want, but this is going to be my tutorial on how to make it. So first thing you're going to do is you're, after you exit this loon, you're going to come down whatever island or outpost you're on, and you're going to want to come to the shop that has a boot on it. This one has swords, so that one is not the right one. Okay, this shop is the boot. It has the boot on it. That's going to be your clothes and everything. And then you're going to buy stuff in here, or, you know, customize your outfit, and you're going to be like, wait. Sorry, not equip. Equip your uh, like facial hair and you know dye your facial hair different colors. This is where you're gonna do all those other details. So I'm gonna go inside and show you how it's done. Hello, Colin. You look familiar. I just have one of those faces. Okay, so this is my Jack Sparrow. Looks pretty good, except without that. Okay, so, first things first, you're going to want to get the hat. And so, there's so many different types of hats in here, and also, I think I'm about making another video on how to make Captain Barbosa. That was my first intention to make Captain Barbosa. But, me and my friend pr played recently, and I was like, that was my intention, but he has more of the body, because Barbosa has wider shoulders, and his character is more fluffy than I am. You know, it's bigger. I'm more skinny and have the body of Jack Sparrow. So first thing you're going to do is come over here to hats. And you're going to want to use the D-pad and go all the way over. Just keep going. Don't use the bumpers up top, the top triggers. You just want to keep going and using the D-pad. Press right all the way till you get to here. Dashing tricorn. Okay? It's going to look just like Jack Sparrow's hat. You could also use this one. But, if it was me, you know, you could use the bandana for uh, Jack Sparrow without his hat on, but I'm going with the hat. So, once you have that equipped, you're good to go. Next, you're going to hit the top right bumper. You're going to go to your belts. For this, you can really choose any belts you want. Some of them don't really look like it. That doesn't really scream Jack Sparrow to me. You know, maybe Kraken, you know, kind of funny because he got eaten by the Kraken. Spoiler if you haven't seen it. And seen any of the uh, movies or know about what I'm talking about. But for this one, you can use really any belts, thick, small. It's just up to you for your preference for that one. But for me, I chose the mercenary belt. That's the one I chose. Or you could come over here and you double belt. Would it be a double belt? Yeah, you could get the double belt if you wanted to. Or however else, whichever belt. Ah, whichever belt you want to use. Or Grand Admiral. I think that's actually the one I'm, e I'm equipped with, is the Grand Admiral belt, because it's kind of a thicker silver color. Next, you're going to want to go over to your beard. This is, uh, you already have beards in stock, but you're going to want to, that's definitely not Jack Sparrow, but you're going to want to get this one right here. The Imperial, uh, please forgive me if I say this wrong and butcher this, Sovereign beard. I'm not sure how to say it. I was asking my buddy, and he says that I think he's, I was saying it right. You're going to want to get this one. Kind of looks like a goatee. That's the closest you can get to it. Next, you're like, wait, what about boots or his, uh, his dreadlocks? Well, you already have dreads, so that's going to be outside in that uh, vanity chest with a little hook on it. You already have that one. Well, I bought a different one that could get me closer. But I'll show you that in just a moment. 
Now for boots, this one's going to be kind of more uh, just your judgment on it. But I went with the Majestic Sovereign boots. Sovereign boots. Or you can go with Weather Worn boots, which is what I used for Captain Barbosa in the first one. You could also use Cuffed High boots, which look pretty dang accurate. Might switch over to these myself, who knows? But see, I'm going to buy those for you. Let me show you how that looks. And you can kind of see it yourself right now. But you can do that one, or the weather-worn boots. Or if you're feeling like it, you can do the majestic Sovereign boots. Next, go past dress, because Jack Sparrow doesn't wear dresses. <laughs> That's uh for the other pirates. The ones that were fooling the British. He doesn't wear gloves except for like the wrap. So actually you could do these if you wanted to. Let's see. Hold on just one moment. I'm sorry. I didn't really look into this part too much. had it in black then it would be perfect. Okay, that's not the right glove. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. There we go. Okay, so if you're going to want to do his, uh, his palm wraps, then you're going to want to do these. God. If you're low on money, then go with the white one. We should get you close. Close enough. But I have a little bit extra, so I'm going to go with it. And so right now I'm actually updating this live. You know, before I made this, I'm making this tutorial, I actually had it different. So you're getting a live updated version of this. Now, I bought this one, Majestic Sovereign Hair, which I thought would get me close enough because I'm like, hey, there's no dreads in here. You know what I mean? So, in hair dye, you can get whatever you want. I already have black hair, hair dye, so, and it'll automatically come with that. He doesn't have any hooks. His jacket. Now, this is important. This is where you got to pay attention because there are a lot of different jackets, but if you want to get to the Jack Sparrow look, you're going to want to get your, is it that one or is it this one? You're going to want to get your Sea Dog jacket. This one brings that kind of trench coat, long coat look to it. Or if you want to go with the more bushy type, you're definitely going to want to go with your hardy long coat right here. And that will bring you to the, like, Close as you can really get to Jack Sparrow, and so I'm gonna buy that for you. Let me show you how it's done. Boom, have that. High collar, long coat. Let's take a look. Nope, see, because Jack Sparrow, it doesn't cut off at the waist. It all it goes down to like his knees. So you're gonna want to get something that goes down towards his knees. Boom, like that. He doesn't have any pegs. That's for Captain Barbosa. Ooh, I could update it. I could update Captain Barbosa's look because he does have the peg. Anyway, I'll go through and I'll customize Captain Barbosa, updated and everything, and I'll bring it back. Next, you're going to go in here and you're going to get your Admiral shirt. Because that's going to give you that kind of vest look underneath. Like like he has with the, uh, with the white shirt and all the details with that. Get you as close as possible to Jack Sparrow. So, get the first thing that pops up, Admiral shirt. Boom, right there. You can choose any shirt you want. You could use these puffy ones right here. However, it's not shown with the jacket I currently have on, so you're not going with these, the crop shirts, unless you feel like it. Anyways, you, you can customize this however you want, but if you're going to go with the tutorial that I'm making right now, you're going to want to just follow along. Uh, for these, you can really choose any pants you want. That's up to you. You could get... Uh, 
Grand Admiral trousers, but it doesn't really matter that big big a deal. She looks pretty good. Because he just has like brown pants. Brown or grayish, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. You can just use uh, hunter trousers or really any pants you want. Uh, except for like really these, unless you're feeling like it. But you're going to want to go with some long sleeve. Not long sleeve. Uh, yeah, so just some pants. Or like uh, the trousers like this. So, I use hunter trousers. Seems to work pretty well. Tattoos. Uh, he doesn't have the... They don't have the P tattoo for pirate or anything, and I don't know of any other tattoos Jack Sparrow has. You don't have any makeup and title you don't have to worry about. So now, Keep boom, that'll quiet. get you to where you need. Now you're going to want to come out here. Wow. It's already daytime. Well, to be honest, it probably was just real late night, about to be early morning. Okay, so this is all the stuff you got. This is what you're going to end up looking like. So let's start completely fresh. Okay. Go over here. Take everything off. Okay. So this is what I'm going to be looking like. Oh, uh, oops. Yeah, no, that's not what I need. Okay. So just to show you right now, I have nothing on. Now you're going to want to come here to clothing. Okay. This would be your Captain Barbosa hat. Which I'll make another tutorial on. I've stated that many times. So you're going to want to equip this hat. Your dashing tricorn. Okay. You're going to want to come over here. Grab your Admiral shirt. So it gives you that puffy, like, arm look to Jack Sparrow. Like, just like Jack Sparrow's. Now, this is new. I'll add this on. Your bed raggled castaway build your rat gloves. These ones. Sorry if I'm stuttering or having a hard time speaking with it. Then you're going to want to grab your sea dog jacket. Equip that. Or you can equip your hardy long coat. Which will still give you that kind of a diamond, like brown leather kind of look to it. With the pockets on it, which looks pretty dang good. Matches well with the hat. You're going to want to come over here. You can equip your mercenary belt or your grand admiral belt, which gives you the bigger buckle, which I use. Put on your hunter trousers or whichever pants you choose. You come over here, and now you have three options. You have your majestic serene boots, which will get you looking like this. Or you can use your weather-worn boots will get you looking like this. She does not look bad. Or you could come over here and use your cuffed high boots, which will get you looking like this. These ones actually look very accurate. Now, now that we have all this equipped, we're looking pretty good. But you're like, wait, what about his face? Now, I'm not saying my face itself looks exactly like Jack Sparrow's, but with the facial features, like, how about some facial hair? Now you're gonna want to scroll over here to the facial hair you bought. Boom! You're like, huh? Looks just like him, or close enough, because you don't have the beads and like in the beard and how it just like cuffs up on the sides. That gets pretty close, but you don't have like the bead, like the two strands that come down that are braided. You don't have the braids. But you're like, wait, where do I get those? Scroll over. Never mind, I'm sorry. You're going to want to click on your hair. Use the right bumper twice. You're going to want to come over here and click dreads. You can bring you to your dreadlocks. You're looking like Captain Jack Sparrow already. Or you can try to use the Majestic Sovereign hair, but I would rather go with the dreads because that just is more Jack Sparrow with it. See, we're looking pretty good. But you're like, wait, he's not brown hair. He's got dark black hair. Dark brown to black hair. So, you're going to go over to hair dye. It's going to be the first one. Shadow black hair. Boom. Click it. 
Now this will dye all of your facial hair and all of your your hair on the top of your head. This will dye all of your hair, all of it, boom, give you black hair. Now you don't have to worry about eye patch, you don't have to worry about hooks, pegs, titles, you don't have to worry about those, tattoos, none, scars, none, makeup, curses, emotes, that's up to you. Folks, you're Jack Sparrow. I hope this tutorial was very helpful, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. And good.